Good morning, dear students. Warm welcome to you at the residential DAPS online classes. Here I have given the YouTube link DAPS School Space Purnia. So it's me, yes, Giri sir, standing here to conduct the class 8 science first chapter from the physics physics sections. So class 8, dear student, your first chapter is force and the pressures. So now let us deal what is force because in our daily life we might be we are using the force and we are facing the different pressure and we are using it means these two force and pressures they do have some applications and the uses in our daily life means day to day we have been using forces and the pressure in our daily life to do our work and so on. So let me clarify at first what do you mean by the force? What exactly force mean? So you also try to note down define force means uh, the pushing or the pulling act on an object or a body is termed as force it is denoted by it is denoted by capital F it can be measured it can be measured by using a spring balance Its SI unit is Newton means Kaplak N R KG meter per second square. It may be R, you may write in next term KG M to the power minus two. Now, you need to know what kind of means which type of physical quantity force is. It is a vector quantity. Means it has both magnitude and direction too. Means force depends upon the direction because when you apply the force on any object either pulling it or just pushing it when you pull something else just a, just a, when you just pull your door means you are using the force in towards yourself means in that direction means you are just opening the door and when you push something else the force acts in the direction in which it is applied so let me repeat once again the pushing or pulling act on an object or a body is termed as a force you can write here you can see properly here the pushing or pulling act on an object or a body is termed as force so this is the definition of the force you can write okay so it is denoted by capital F and it can be easily measured by using spring balance. Now let me draw the picture of the spring balance. You might have seen this kind of the devices having hook where exactly the load. And here you can see the readings and it is fixed here. It is the figure of spring balance. So this, this device is known as the spring balance means it is in this way you might have seen 
to measure the weight to measure the force quantity means uh, what quantity of force has been applied on that body you need to measure by using the spring balance not by the beam balance beam balance or the physical balances are those device means those tools especially designed to measure the mass of object means there is difference between the mass and force while you measure the force you require the spring balance but when you are measuring the masses at the time you require the physical balance at the beam balance so dear student i think that you should not have any problem to define the force and how it is measured what are what is its unit it is the si unit remember it is si unit okay newton means this newton comes after the greatest scientist father of physics known as sir isaac newton okay after his name newton has been given because he had he was the man to research lots of things about the forces he propounded he propounded the theory regarding the force law of gravitation you can uh, get to know about the force means the even the laws of motion first law second law and the third law especially second law of newton's or newton's second law of motion especially get the definition and that theory defines the what is the magnitude of the force means how you can calculate the force means mathematically you can write means how to calculate magnitude of force means force f equal to mass into acceleration 